afternoon. Uh, just wondering how, how this deal with the Tigers came about when uh, they started showing interest and, and what attracted you to this, to this position with the Tigers? Uh, you know, the conversation started a couple of days ago. Um, and one of the, one of the reasons I, I take, I make a decision to sign with them, uh, that's because, you know, I was looking for something in the American league and try the new, 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 new division. You know, I'm being, I'm been working in the national league East for too, for too long. And, but I want to try, I wanted to try in another division and now play with Miggy in the same line all that made me excited because we got really good relationship back from Venezuela, winter ball. And, you know, that was one of the, one of the, the reason I, I make a decision to side with them. I was, I was going to ask you about Miggy because that's one thing so many Tigers fans are curious about. How long have you known Miggy? And uh, I guess, what's it like to, to work out with him and, and train with him during the off season? Uh, I know, I know Miggy from a from long time ago, more than 10 years ago, when we played in Winnable in Venezuela. And, you know, working out right now with him, we, we got good support each other. And that's why, you know, I'm happy right now to sign with Tigres because, you know, I feel really good working out with him. And also, you know, that 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 relationship helped me to to make that decision to to go with tires. Thank you. You're welcome. Next we'll go to Evan Petzold from the Detroit Free Press. Hey Wilson, how's it going? Thanks for doing this. Um just interested, you know, with Miguel Cabrera, you know, you mentioned the relationship, but working out with him, seeing him, you know, as much as you do. Um, how does he look? I mean, strength-wise, getting ready to go for the season. I mean, how are you guys kind of preparing together, and, and what is he? Uh, what is he looking like? Uh, to me, he look he look good. He look in good shape. You know, we have been working since the beginning of November, so that was three good months. We we've, we've been working out really hard. Now I uh, saw so me, you know, with good strength, good power. So you know, we support each other, working together right now, and that. Uh, you know, that, that made me feel good. Feel good to, to to work out with him. So, but like I say before, you know, happy to be to be part of this this young group and, you know, start working for them. And also before you signed, I mean, I'm assuming you guys, you know, talked about Detroit and the possibility of you going there. What did he tell you about Detroit? Um, what did he have to say? No, you know, we're we, we not talking about, about that. I know probably a lot of people, Maybe maybe thing he helped he helped me to sign with 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 the with the team, but you know he not made any conversation. He not do anything, you know. Uh, you know I don't know. Probably, you know, the people from from the team they saw a lot of videos working out with Miggy and the relationship we have together. But you know, he he just support me every day during the working out, but he don't say. To me, I don't know, but to me, he don't say anything to the, to the team. For sure. And another thing, too, I'm interested when it comes to working with pitchers, what's the, the big thing for you, you know, in terms of communicating with them when you come to a new team? I mean, do you do that now or you wait till spring training to do that? And then also, what's the message to, to those pitchers that you're going to be working with? Uh, right now, I just I just get a little bit of conversation with uh, with the lefty guy, Floyd, that's the name. Boyd, yeah. Boyd, yeah. Just, just with him. But I just wait. I just wait until, till we meet in person during the spring training, and you know, that's when I start. I want to start, you know, to know to know each other and see how they like to throw and all that. But the first, the first thing, I, I, I wanna, I wanna get a good communication with them and try to be in the same page. That was the most important thing right now. I did it in the past with with the Tampa Bay Rays and. And then in the New York Med, you know, working out with young group. And I know I know how to handle that. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yep. All right. Next we'll go to Matt Shepard from Fox Sports Detroit. Wilson, uh, congratulations and welcome. Uh, just to kind of piggyback off what Evan just said, um, how much do you know about the Tigers pitching staff and what is most encouraging about some of their young arms? Uh, right now I don't know, I don't know so much. 
too much about about these young guys, but I think we have a plenty of time in spring training to to know each other and to know more about them. You know, I I got really good experience to working with with young with young guys, and I I take I take my job very serious. You know, and spring training is gonna be a good challenge for me to to know to know them better. Uh, but you know, it's happened in the past with me. A hundred percent sure I will be ready for, for for doing that. Thank you, muted Jeff. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you're a two seventy four career hitter, uh, about two thirty nine a year ago. What do you bring to the Tigers lineup on a day to day basis? Do you think? Uh, to me, you know, I really I, I, I'm, right now I'm concentrating and working really hard. You know, I'm being I'm being working with my swing with my with my skill behind the play. So, you know, right now I got 22, 23 pounds less on my on my body. And I hundred percent sure that will not help me to to be more 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 athletic behind the play. And I've been working out really hard with that part of my on my job. And you know, I'm very excited, very excited waiting for, for this spring to show what I what I can bring to this team. All right, lastly, uh, you mentioned the, the loss of the weight. Is it just working out? Was it a different diet? How did you go about losing that much weight in the off season? Uh, uh, that was those those two teams together work now and 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 good good diet. So that 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 been helped me to to lose weight a little bit, and but also at the same time working out to to keep my body strong. It's not only you know just lose weight and and not get so much strong. So I've been working out really hard and. And that communicate that that together, like good diet and good good training is is really good. Thanks and welcome. Yep, thank you. Next, we go to Cody Stavenhagen from the Athletic. Hi Wilson, nice to meet you. Uh, what was last year like for you playing in the shortened season? Seems like you probably didn't have as many hits fall in as you would have liked, and then you know the Mets declined your option. Was it a tough year? Yeah, it was. It was really tough. It was was really tough you know one of my my short season was I, I think 2017 when I came came back after my my knee surgery with Tampa Bay but you know I did I did really well in that in that moment you know one of the one of the things I don't feel you know good in my career that's when I play like every other day like 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 what they did for me last year you know I was ready to play every day but you know, they short my time, my playing time to every other day or two one, and I'm not, I'm not really consistent of playing like that. You know, all of my career, I'm being, I'm more consistent when I play, when I play more games every day. So I'm hundred percent sure, you know, that that affect a little bit last year to me. Was that part of your conversation with the Tigers at all? I, I'm sure there will be some competition, but there's probably a chance to get a lot of playing time. Yeah, you know, I already talked with, with 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 AJ a little bit about you know what I want for this year, and one of the one of the things I told him is to play a little bit more and play every day. I'm looking for that, you know. In my career, I'm I'm more consistent when I when I play like that. So I want that opportunity. I was looking for that opportunity, and you know, if they give me the the opportunity to to sign with them, that's the only the only thing I can. I won from them. For sure. Um, a couple other things. Did you alter your swing before last season at all to, to try to elevate the ball more? That's what I'm working right now. You know, I know last year I was trying to, to you know, to, to work it out, to work on that, try to, you know, get the ball more in the air. But, you know, we all the, that was crazy year. You know, we was able to, to thinking too much because, we was more concentrated on not getting infected by the pandemic, but you know, I was that was a tough year. You know, now, right now, I have I already have two and a half more working out on my swing and and you know feel really good what I'm doing right now. Okay, sounds good. So you are gonna stick with with that approach and just hope to fine tune it a little better. Yeah, that's what that's what I want, and I feel really really comfortable with my swing right now. Okay, good. And then, um, yeah, behind the plate, um, how do you feel like you've grown in, in pitch framing? And I read you started going down to one knee with no runners on last season. Yeah, yeah, I was working. I was working on that. You know, I, 
really hard for me to to work on on one knee with run on base because I'm not I'm not able to 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 move to to the base when when somebody's trying to steal. But we're not running on base. I'm working really good with, with one knee on the ground and uh, you know help me and keep my my knee with less pressure. Okay, so you, you did feel like that you can tell a difference or that's helped you a little bit? Yeah, it's like, it's, it, I was really tough in the beginning but because never in my career I was working behind a play with one knee on the ground. You know, I was able to to be with both knees out of the ground. But right now, you know, it's a little, a little comfortable, you know, keep less pressure for my knee and that helped me to, to get those low pitches pretty good in the sun. All right. Sounds good. That's all I had. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I think we have time for a couple more. Uh, next, we'll go to Tony Paul from the Detroit News. Hey, appreciate the time. Uh, just a couple questions. Just to clarify, where have you and Miggy been working out? In Venezuela where? or uh, where? Yeah. No, we, we, we're down here in Florida. Okay. Um, back to the pitching staff a little bit. What are the challenges uh, with working with a young pitching staff that you're likely going to be working with this year? Obviously, a lot of highly touted um, young kids but what are the some of the challenges of working with a young staff as opposed to a veteran staff uh to me you know like communi communication is really really important you know i need to know how they like to throw what they want me to do to feel do they feel comfortable on the mound you know it's a, it's a lot of, a lot of little things made the officials happy and i want I, I will be able to do everything they want to 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 feel them really happy on the mound you know there's a couple couple details but you know i'm ready i'm happy to to bring all my experience to them but the most important thing for us is getting good communication you know i did it in the past you know maybe you know dinner with them or something like that but that communication between us will be very important yeah, you talked about how last season was frustrating uh, and different and challenging, but how was the off season? Um, it's obviously been a very different off season as well with a lot of slow movement because, you know, teams don't know, you know, when they're going to play and how much money they're going to have, how frustrating or was it frustrating at all having to wait this long? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was frustrating. You know, I never on the free agency on my career, I never passed from December and, and this year I was different. I was talking with my wife and, and my friends and my brothers a lot about this situation, but you know, the market was and it's still really slow. So I was a little bit relaxed at the same time, just waiting for, for that call and, you know, working out that helped me to, to clear my mind a little bit. It was concentrated really hard, losing weight, getting strong and, you know, but yeah, it was tough because the call, the call finally get but get up late. So, but at the same time, you know, that helped me to, to concentrate and, and work more hard and show a lot of, a lot of people like, you know, I'm, I'm ready to still play. And then just last one, I know you probably get asked about this every, everywhere you go, but uh, the, the situation in Venezuela years ago, um, the kidnapping, how did that shape you? How did that affect you moving forward? Does it still affect you? Now, nah, right now, you know, I already turned that page. Um, right now, I feel happy with my family, happy with my kid. My kid changed my life. And they made me happy every, sing every single day. But, you know, it was a tough. That was a tough situation over there. You know, it was really crazy, especially when I get rescued by the, by the government. You know, days after I get rescued, you know, it was tough to, to go out of my house. I was you know, without sleep, everything I hear during a sleep that made me scared. That was that was really tough. But you know, I just want to say thank God because you know I came back with my family and my kids, and now you know different life. But I'm still scared to come back over there. And and you know, one of the things I want to see is see my my country free. You know, thanks a lot. Okay, next we'll go back to Evan Petzold from the Free Press. Hey, just to follow up, you played for Cash um, over in, uh, in Tampa Bay, and you played pretty good that year. Um, you know, he's a former catcher. 
and uh, now you get to play for AJ Hinch, a, a former catcher. What is it like playing for you know a manager who has previous experience in the majors as a catcher? I mean, do you enjoy that? Is that something that you look forward to, or does it not really matter? Uh, to me, you know, when when you have people like 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 them, you know, in your in your way, you know, it's pretty good chance to to learn more. You know, we are we we, we learn every single day something different. But anything they can, you know, they can teach me a hundred percent sure I would take it because that helped me to to get, to grow up and and get better. So you know, Kash, he, he teach me a lot, and now I will get a this opportunity to play for AJ and a hundred percent sure if he sees something, something different on, on, on my job, he, he will tell me what I can do to get better. You mentioned getting better and learning over the years. Um, you know, there's some young catchers that the Tigers have. You might see them in spring training at some point, you know, one of them might back you up. I mean, what would be the message to younger catchers in the Tigers system that you could share just based off of your experience in the majors? That's a lot of a, a lot, too many things, too many things I can I can, you know, teach them, and you know if they able to to learn, you know I would be I would be open open mind to to give all my experience to them because you know like those kids, they now they growing up in this in this job they need they need to learn you know same like me when I grow up I get a couple of good guys with big names on on. On baseball, they teach me how to grow up. Now I can do the same with the young guys. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to to teach them how to you know how to be good behind a play. For sure. And, and last one for me, just real quick. Um, you mentioned the weight loss. Want to make sure that I got the specific number. Where where are you at in terms of your weight right now? Uh, I, you know, before before I started training, I was like around two seventy two seventy five something like that. And now I'm two forty five. So that's that's a lot of a lot of pounds, but that made me feel good. Feel good, feel more better behind the play when I'm squatting, when I'm running, and you know I'm really excited. I'm really excited to to start spring training soon because I want to show what I can do and, and how I feel. For sure. Thanks again. All right. Next we'll go to Jason Beck from MLB.com. Yeah, hi, Wilson. Uh, welcome to Detroit. Thanks for doing this. Uh, I was wondering, you mentioned being in the National League East for a long time. One of the pitchers you'll be catching is a veteran of the NL East, Jose Urania. I was wondering um, how well you know him, if at all, and what it'll be like to catch him instead of face him. Uh, you know, it's, it's really, you know, as a hitter, it's really good to to – to be behind a play with with pitcher like like him, you know, but it's really good also to to face him, to face him, and you know when when you do good, you feel good, you know that happened that happened to me every time I face Mike Scherzer, you know, I get good or bad, I feel good when I was behind a play we make we did a really good job together, but at the same time now uh, I get opportunity to, to face him a couple times and I did it well. And that made me feel good because when you face the best guys on baseball and, and you do good, you feel good. So that's other part, other, other that's other good part in, in this in this career. And the last one for me, you, know, you mentioned going for launch angle and trying to get the ball in the air more. Moving to a bigger ballpark like Comerica, does that change your approach at all? Does that change how you look or where you look to put the ball? Uh, no, you know, I, I know this is that's a big ballpark, especially right center when I hit the ball more. But you know, um, right now I'm working on you know just get the good angle on the swing and you know just put a good swing on the ball. Like 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 before my career, you know I was go to home play and and just put a good swing on the ball. I know I got I got a little bit of pop and the ball would carry if I hit the ball well. But at that stadium I was jogging, you know, jogging a little bit with my with my with the guys working out with me and they say, hey, now you have to you will get a couple of triples on your career if you hit the ball in that gap. And I say I'm good with doubles. So but you know, I was thinking of that on that part of that stadium too. 
but you know that's a good opportunity to 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 get a lot of RBIs too because if you hit the ball in that in that in that hole over there, the guys on on first and second they will score easily. So it's gonna be good to I uh, hit the ball well to all this side. Great, thank you, Wilson. Welcome. You're to welcome. Time. Thank you. All right. Uh, looks like the last question that we'll have goes to Matt Shepard from Fox Sports Detroit. Wilson, you come across as a as a leader, and I'm wondering. Have you always been like that? Have you had to learn that? And, and how quickly will you be able to apply that type of character with a team you're still getting to know? Uh, I think, you know, with the, with the conversation we can make every single day, it's not going to take too long. I'm really, I'm really focused every single day of the spring to see how they like to talk, how they like to throw, what kind of piece they throw. And, you know, I like to communicate. You know, that was great, great, great part of this job. If, if I get good communication with them, it's not going to take too long to know what they want to do. Yeah, I, I was referring more to entire team, not just to pitching staff. Um, it, are you comfortable in that situation with a new team where you can come in and be a voice and a sounding board for, for all players? Uh, yeah, you know, it happened in the past. It already happened in the past of my career. And, you know, I know how to know how to control that. So, you know, if, if I if I if the, as soon as I get there, I'm 100 percent sure I will let him I will let them know my locker will be open 24 seven, my phone to to talk. And that was the, the, the big opportunity to know more each other. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, looks like the last question we have. So thank you to Wilson and to everyone else for being on the call today. I uh, hope everyone has a great evening. Thank you, guys.